Hey everyone, in this video we are going to continue from part one which uh, allowed us to set up our standard by me npm module. In this episode we'll publish it to Yarn and include it in, the, in a Create React app uh, application. So let's just go through what we've actually got so far and how we're going to uh, expand on it. So we've got a source directory which contains a button and the typography components. Uh, these are just sort of uh, style components which are exported which allows us to use them inside of our uh, React application. Uh, we're obviously exporting all of these um, from here and one of the um, one of the things we have in here is a docs page and this allows us to just build a doc file page inside of our uh, application and our styled application that will publish to npm, and it kind of allows anyone, like you know, whoever's developing on this or have, whoever uh, downloads and stores this, they can sort of see that page of style components and everything that you can use. And it's really important if you if you have a, a company that builds multiple applications, uh, you know, it's always an, a nice idea to create a style guide for all of your company's assets and styles, so you can see what things people should be using and give them some recommendations on, uh, you know, what type of buttons to use when to use a button that's grouped, when to use a form that's in line or uh, or not. Um, so it's kind of important to, to create this kind of thing, I think, as your company gets bigger and you have more of a web presence. So hopefully the uh, previous video helped you get started creating an application like that. It's certainly been a huge um, uh, goal of mine uh, with uh, NPM and JavaScript is creating a shareable package uh, of, of style components. So hopefully uh, this video has helped you. So I'm gonna dive straight in and I'm going to create um, a new file uh, that will, uh, a new Create React app folder and a file in there that just imports our module. Um, so we will do Create React app test app. Now if you don't have the Create React app installed, you would want to at this point go to GitHub and install that as a global dependency. I'll leave a link in the notes below on how you can uh, do that it's just on their on their github page and you can follow that i also have run in a terminal tab over here our webpack dev server and the webpack dev server is literally just um shown this and this is exactly what we uh, created in the first episode we can see here if we inspect these this is our style components and we can kind of verify that by the uh, quirky names it gives us and things like that so you know that's kind of all working and hopefully you've got to this this stage uh, inside of here, if I just run yarn start, that will boot up our um, create React app, and it should give us the default welcome um, to your React app page, which we have here, which is awesome. And I'm just going to split this pane, and I'm going to also open this in Atom, and this is a this is where we will install our dependency. Now, before we can do yarn add styled by me, we will need to push it to uh, uh, npm. So we'll go and do that now. So inside of my style by me directory, if I list the components inside of that using the ls command, we can see we've got a disk folder, source folder, docs folder, uh, and, and many more. But one of the important things we need to do is look inside the package JSON file, the name, the version, the index, uh, that's all inside of here. Now this main file, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file inside of the root of this directory, and that's simply going to export module exports require dist and this uh, will be the entry point uh, for our uh, package that we will require and that will just allow us to set things up. It's not necessary um, in the video in the previous video we didn't we won't really be using this file um, but it's always nice to know uh, when you when we go forward hopefully add more features to this that that will be our entry point. So in the package JSON, if we have a look at the previous scripts we created before, we will see we've got one called build, clean, and dist. And what we would like to do is run yarn dist. So we'll run yarn dist now. That will clean the previous directory, recreate the directory, run everything through Babel, and then we're at a point now where we can publish it. Now, all you need to type if you're using yarn is as yarn publish. That'll ask for the current uh, a new version, which we're just going to keep to uh, one and it's at this point you will need to log in with your npm uh, js details uh, if you haven't got an account you'll need to go and create one i'll leave notes in the uh, comments below on how you can do that 
um, and then great. That's been published to npm now. So if we head on over to uh, npmjs.org forward slash my username forward slash styled by me, what we should see, fingers crossed, um, is a new library, which is not there. Oops. No trap. No trap. Package. Ah, package no trap. Sorry. Uh, styled by me is the package name. I'm thinking of GitHub here. So cool. Uh, styled by me is public. Uh, sadly, this file has no readme. That's okay. Um, that's our version there. You kind of see our main dependency here. dependencies. And because our package relies on those three dependencies, uh, we must install them in our other application. So that's brilliant. That's now published to NPM. Very easy, very straightforward. And just remember to create an account with NPM. And you can do this on their website here. Um, very quick, very easy to get started. And you can publish your packages on here. So that is that. Now inside of here, if I just do yarn add style by me, that's going to go up to npm, the registry, and it's going to find that component that, I've, that I have just published and bring that down. And if we have a look inside of here, uh, we can see that that done exactly that. So that's brilliant. Style by me at version one. And that's version one that we defined. Brilliant. I'm going to stop the server and I'm going to run it again. We'll wait for that to reboot and then we'll just pop over into Atom and inside of our create react app inside the app.js file i'm now going to import our h1 tag and uh, our button and that is from styled by me cool so it's kind of the same way as we did in the docs uh in the previous example in here we're importing the h1 and the button and now all we need to do is if we just copy this here and we place this below this line and we'll also place an h1 tag. Remember that uppercase h1. And we'll do hello world. And let's put a little emoji in there. Cool. Brilliant. So this is working fine. And if we pop over to our application, what we should now see is hello world in our button. Now, this is exactly the same as what we have running in our local docs for our uh, module and we have it in our Create React app. Brilliant, so this is how you create a module and publish, to, publish it to NPM and also include it inside of your other React application. It's very easy, very straightforward and it didn't take us long to do it all. Um, yeah, cool, so hopefully this has been helpful. Um, you can do this as well inside of a Next.js application uh, if, you, if you are running Next.js. Let's just give that a try now. If we move back a directory, clear that, and we'll create a new directory. Make directory next styled by me. And let's move into that. Next, next styled by me. Uh, oops. Next styled by me. And inside of here, if we just run yarn in a type and Y, We'll then just quickly add uh, React, React DOM. Also, we will need to install styled by me. Cool. If we open this in Atom, if you're familiar with Next.js, you'll know that we'll need to uh, create a script for running that in dev. And that is simply just dev. And we're going to run Next itself. Cool. Uh, I'll also add next at the beta stage, and that'll pull down the latest version of next. So once that's done, we'll then be able to just run yarn dev, and that'll boot up our application. If we create a index page inside of a page directory, that's a convention that um, it gives us. We can then import h1 and button from styled by me. We do not need to include React because that is a default by Next.js. And if we just wrap our components in a div and we'll do hello world, we'll do another emoji just to confirm that it's different. And also a button 
and we can even on here add uh, anything you like for uh, alert hello world on click and that button will be click me cool great so if we run yarn dev that should now be run in our browser on port 3000 which it is refresh the page alert is not defined my mistake um, cool great so when that is done a function will run and hello world and you'll see that this is exactly the same as what we have from our component and if we have a look at this here and we go over here it's exactly the same exactly the same so it's uh it's really cool this is working um, this is doing everything that we expect. You can include this module in any project that uses NPM and you will have those style components. Remember, it must be a React based project um, for style components to work properly, I believe. Um, so that's it. Hopefully this has gotten you started. If you've got any comments or questions or feedback, please let me know in the comments below. Follow me on Twitter as well if you can. I'm at Notrab, that's just Barton backwards. Um, all of the code for this uh, component style by me package is available on my GitHub. I will also leave a comment, uh, a note in the comments below in the description on uh, how you can find that as well. So please have a great one and enjoy coding. Happy coding and all the best. Have fun.